Hi, welcome back to another photo link video. Uh, this one's fourth on the series in um, in uh, on rawhide, and I believe this is going to be the final video. We'll see. Uh, what we talked about last time was batch processing. Uh, what happened? The results of the batch process is basically what you do is you get a series of uh, images that were created in uh, basically the parameters that you specified. Um, you know when you were adjusting either each individual uh, individually or each image individually or uh, you know processing them as a group uh, but you get the output of that and your output is controlled by uh, if you go to uh, preferences and you go output file preferences you can say JPEG and TIF or TIF only where the output directory is at um, also some of the TIF and JPEG settings that you can employ. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, in the full frame cameras like the uh, 850, uh, the A850 Sony or the A900 Sony, the files are huge. You will run into errors <coughs> if you don't process them as TIFs only. Uh, this is not Frank's fault. What this is 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 the files are so huge it's extremely taxing on the computer and like a lot of the processors right now are having trouble with it hopefully that'll be corrected but if you stick to TIFs only and go nice and slow uh, you won't have a problem okay so that's where you control your output parameters uh, what you can also control here is you can um, um, you can come up here and edit your copyright information. Uh, you can put copyright notices in here and um, the ph photographer's name and so on, which will override uh, any camera settings that you have. Now, when you, when you save your preferences, um, what you can basically do is go through and set up all of your controls the way you usually like them. And when you save the default preferences, it will save those also. <coughs> One more thing that we should uh, perhaps talk about here is uh, they have a, a program that's associated with this called the Thumbnail Viewer, which is a very handy piece of software. Uh, basically, what it allows is it allows it to load up a whole series of of um, images and as you click in between each one it will show you what the uh, what the uh, uh, exit data is on each image you can select these from a directory so we'll go up here in the directory that we were working with which is um, this one it will load up all the images and then what it will allow you to do is select the ones that you want to work on or select your batch in um, in uh, Rawhide. So what you can do is you can scroll through here and you can say, well, I want this one and I want this one and I want this one. And then when you, when you say uh, go, uh, basically what it will do is uh, load those all up into... Um, uh, into rawhide very very powerful tool so when you uh, when you close it uh, you're right back into rawhide <coughs> so I think that we basically pretty much covered everything on the program um, I strongly encourage that you use this so um, we are uh, going to move on to a new topic so thank you very much for watching please uh, visit Frank's site and um, please uh, visit my site, www.photolink, that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. Uh, Frank's site is listed on the front of this video. And I strongly encourage you to use this batch converter. And thank you very much. And see you later.